<laughs> I, I met this guy, uh, Ross Edelman, on a Microsoft, uh, World, uh, Microsoft uh, 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 partner event six, seven years ago, I believe. Uh, and he, he wrote a book called Nice Guy Cannot Get the Corner Office, and I believe I gave this book to my leadership team. And uh, when I met him, two of us connected tremendously because what we realized that, that he is a passionate, lifelong learner. He's consistently trying to learn. He started his own business. He didn't know anything about the business and ended up making a, a SharePoint consulting business and made it a $13 million company. So during that event, uh, I met him, and after that, we met uh, in restaurants over here. And I asked him, uh, Russ, tell me. Tell me your learning plan. Tell me what you're reading right now. Tell me what classes you're taking right now. And during the conversation, he talked about a lot of different books. It looks like that we're reading the same books. So I recommended him some books. He recommended me some books. And he was talking to me about an event called World Business Forum, the same event letter you just gave me today. He's saying that, Russell, did you, did you ever go to this event? I said, no. I'm like, why I should attend this event? It's like you got to see the list of the speakers that come to this event. You're going to learn about leadership. You're going to learn about management. You learn about strategy, innovation, and all these different concepts. So once I found the information from him, I went in and started doing research about World Business Forum, and I decided that I'm going to go to those events going forward. And when I went to land at their site, I was so excited to see the type of speaker they have on the World Business Forum site. And the reason I'm sharing this story with you is that I want to build a culture of learning within this organization. I want to share my personal story that how I meet people and how they are giving me lead to certain events that tremendously change my life and add values to this organization. So after I found about the World Business Forum, over the last six, seven years, I have probably spent sorry, Netcom money, thirty to $35,000 attend different e events there. Their courses run somewhere between $2,000 to $2,500. And, and I went to one of the events, and I was sitting with a guy. I found this picture on World Business Forum. This guy's name is uh, Damon Henninger, and he ran a company called CCA Corrections. So he was sitting on my right side. And I was, we were talking, talking about what business I am in, what, what kind of operation we run, and I asked him that, so what business you are in? He said, CCA Corrections. I never heard of CCA Corrections. Any of you heard of this company before? No. By talking to him, what I find out, he was saying that, oh, it's a small company. So I said, what's your revenue? He said, it's just a $1.5 billion revenue. <laughs> I wanted to go and Google him. And Google the company, you're going to find out the last quarter their revenue was $460 million, million. So on the right side on the event, I have a guy that I met. He's running a $1.5 billion company. And I don't have the picture of the guy on a, that was sitting on the left side. It's a short Indian guy. If you would see him in the street, you will never think, you'll never think that he's running a company. So I was talking to him during the conversation. He mentioned that he's working for a company. I have his business card, and he's with the same company for 35 years. When he joined right out of college, he had a M finished his MBA, and he worked his way up to and became the CEO of the company. And when he became the CEO, he was running a company that was $100 million revenue, and he took it in 15 or 18 years, made it a $1 billion company. He said exactly the same thing. No, I'm just running a small company. The point I'm trying to make over here, that World Business Forum that I went in, it not only gave me access to learn from the top people, it gave me an opportunity to meet people like this. I'm still in touch with him. We are not friends yet. I told him, can you be my mentor? Every time I meet somebody who is doing well, I always ask, can you be my mentor? And I see that 10%, 20% of the cases, people say, yes, that's a great opportunity. Uh, so. Then, that same event, I went in, and I know I put my picture because I'm proud of the fact that I went in and I met Jack Walsh. Because Jack Walsh was giving out a speech about leadership, about human resource management. He was giving a speech about how to build an organizational culture. And I'm a big fan of his. I read his book, I, uh, and I, I record this book, uh, Winning, to all of our leadership team. And I took two, three classes in World Business uh, Forum, listening the wisdom 
from Jack Walsh. You know, this is the guy who ran GE, and under his leadership, he took the company from 20 billion to over, I believe, 300 billion dollars. World Business Forum gave me an opportunity not to just meet him one on a one, also gave me an opportunity to learn from him. Then, on that event, one of the events I met, uh, uh, do you know who this guy is? No. Kelvin Klein. So he came in, he gave a presentation, and he had two hour slot. Within two hours, he told his entire lifestyle, how he started the company, how many failures he had to go through before he, he became successful. So we learned about his entire life story and all the things he did. And learning from him is from his mistakes is a lot more important to going to a college and learning from, from a professor who never ran a business before. But on the same time, anybody know who this guy is? Yeah, I recognize him. Jim Collins. This is the same guy who wrote Good to Great book. He is one of the one of the most intellectual in, in leadership strategy management right now. If anybody is in management, you'll know there's a guy named Peter Drucker. He's the management guru. He died, and everybody's saying that he's the future Peter Drucker. He invested 25 years of his life finding out why some companies become successful and why others fail. He's been revered in the industry. Some of the lectures he gives charges $50,000 to $100,000. So imagine when you go, when I went to the World Business Forum, I not only had an opportunity to learn from him, I read all of his books, but listening to him face to face, asking him the question, gave me a great opportunity, great opportunity to learn from this guy. This guy, I don't know if any of you know, do you, any of you know this guy? His, his name is AJ Lafley. He used to run a company called PNG, Procter & Gamble. It's a, I believe, 40 or 60 billion dollar company, and under his leadership, the co when you took over the company, the stock died, and he took it all the way up. He retired right now. He talked about he talked about his wisdom. That what are the changes that he did within his orga organization, and how he was able to grow that organization. So by going there, this guy taught kind of about the leadership, practice candor within the organization. This guy really, what his story told me that the importance of organization brand and the personal brand, CEO brand, how both works together to take the company to the next level. This guy taught me about strategy, that why you should learn what not to do instead of going after trying to do everything. This guy taught us importance of innovation, how you build the innovative culture within the organization and everything goes from innovation. Every department you should think, think from an innovative point of view. I am so grateful to Ross Edelman that he gave me an opportunity to, to find out about this world business from that I didn't know. I feel so ashamed that why didn't I know about this before? Because if I knew it 10 years ago, I would have not, not learned a lot of things faster and avoided a lot of mistakes. So World Business Forum is where I met those guys. So what are the things that I learned from this World Business Forum? We're going to apply those lessons in Netcom that they have a great product. Their product is good, so good. They have a great group of speakers. So their salespeople will never have to sell courses to us because product is good. People are going to come back. I went back to the same class over and over. They had different group of speakers, same class over and over. But I realized also it was a great networking opportunity for me. I'm finding out, meeting all the decision makers. What I also found out that if I'm going to learn business concept, if I'm going to learn about management, if I'm going to learn about strategy, if I want to learn about HR, if I want to learn about what's the mega trend out there, if I want to learn about innovation, I want to learn from the thought leaders in the market. Please, World Innovation Forum gave me that opportunity. What I also found out that they only charge $2,500 max to meet all these great people and learning from them. So cheap. You get all these things, and those guys actually charge, those speaker charges ten, twenty thousand uh, dollars uh, dollar for this. And what I also learned from this is that this, this is the place, not only just networking, we can create, develop, and make some business deals over there. The CEO of this company, her name is Patricia. I met her during the event. Every time I see her, say, I tell her, can you be my mentor, can you be my mentor? Because I want to learn from you. How did you organize an event like that? 
She said, yes, 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 but never reply my email. Yes, yes, yes. So finally she became my mentor. So I got a mentor out of this, uh, uh, out of this event. What I also, also saw this event did, uh, did to me is that I always dreamed about meeting those people, the pictures I showed you. I know it probably doesn't mean a lot to you, but it means a lot to me because the people that I'm meeting over there are people that I care about because I know they are the best in the industry. So I, wanna meet, I wanted to meet, so this World Business Forum gave me this opportunity. I'm not going to get a commission for it, but I just want to play a video of what happens on the World Business Forum. Can you click it for me? I met all these people. It off. When you see this, and you see the list of the speakers that are speaking on this event, I know some of the speaker probably know, some of you don't know, there's a lot more. Do you feel like you want to take this class? How many of you feel like attending this class? All of you, right? I feel so excited when I, every time I see they have a list of the speakers, as a matter of fact, I know who the speakers is going to be next year. I want to take this class. And these classes only cost $2,500, it's so cheap. And I remember every year when I went there, you know what went through my mind? Every year when, when, when there, it went through my mind that we gotta build a competing company like World Business World. 
I came in, I pissed it to move it many times. Says, so let's go after that business. Let's actually build that. But who is going to come? If I, if we make a call to President Clinton, hey, come and teach for NETCO, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> if we tell Jack was, you'll be like, okay, you have to uh, give us $100,000 for the speech. So the only way you can make it work, you have five, six, seven thousand people are attending this event. That's the only way you can get it done. I've been dreaming about this event. We are dreaming about this event. And this is what actually created one of the idea for us that Netcom wants to go up. We want to do this. We need your support to do this, do these things. But the announcement that I want to make to you guys is that all future events that we are going to co-promote it together. Netcom and HHM is going to co-promote the World Business Forum and World Innovation Forum. We are the only exclusive partner in the entire world that's going to be co-promoting that event. And I'll tell you what that means to you. Okay? They have four salespeople selling 6,000 seats into those events. How many salespeople do we have? 25 salespeople. So I was completely shocked. How can they have four salespeople selling 6,000 seats? It's because the product is so great. Product is so great that you don't have to sell the product. You just have to communicate that that product exists. Earlier today, Phil, did you send me this email? Phil sent me an email say, about the HSRM. Russell, to, uh, this might be a good event for, mar uh, for marketing to attend the promote, uh, attends to promote passion for learning, soft skills, such. And the speaker, one of the speakers on that event is Jim Collins. But World Business Forum has bigger group of speakers over there. So we are going to co-promote this event. All the brochures they have, this brochure you're going to see, is going to have their logo and our logo. All of their contacts are going to be gone. We are going to have access to all these speakers. So we will be able to claim Jack Walsh is a NETCOM speaker. Jim Collins is a NETCOM speaker. President Clinton is a NETCOM speaker. And when Stuart make the call in Google, speaker, you're going to say that this is one of the soft skills offerings that we have. We are promoting this mark. Pro, uh, promoting this event together. You guys are going to still get is whatever the amount, you're going to get commission into this amount. And I want to point out this is an exclusive partnership. None of our competitors, even if they want to get into this, they won't be able to get it done. And I'll tell you why this is going to be a big, big game changer for NetCom. How is it going to be a game changer? Why am I making a big deal out of it? Number one, it will add, worst case, $1 million revenue for the next 12 months for NetCom. But if all of you sell 10 seats per month, because some corporation you're going to go in and they're going to send 20 people together, then we're going to have 3 to $4 million revenue increase. But what's in it for the salespeople? You're going to be able to make more commission. So immediately, we'll be able to increase our revenue and you'll be able to make a lot more commission. Second thing it will do is going to raise Netcom brand. I'll tell you a story and you'll understand the impact of this deal. There is a guy named Khan who opened up a company called Khan Academy. Anybody have, of you heard about Khan Academy? Yes. It's a, it, they do online math training and, and there's a big story. Uh, it's a free site, non-profit organization. So the way Khan Academy became Khan Academy, be beside having a good product, because nobody knew about him, Bill Gates found out about Khan Academy, and he started mentioning about Khan Academy. So when you have a brand name like Jack Walsh or Clinton or Bill Gates or Howard Schultz or uh, 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 Jim Collins, they mention and talk about a company. In global stage, the organization brand changed. So all of a sudden, it hits the inflection point and it grows like crazy. So think about what will happen on next World Business Forum. And they have actually two forums, World Business Forum and Innovation Forum. We're going to talk about more detail about that 
in the next training, next training. Every single participant is gonna get Netcom catalog. They're gonna get my uh, learning book that on the back is actually promoting Netcom. So we are gonna be in the global stage immediately. Our video guys is gonna be there. Our marketing people are there. All of their videos they have is gonna come into our website. Every single content they have, everything coming to our website. We're just right now adding the logo, our logo and their logo together. So what it will do is that immediately it's going to raise the Netcom brand and at some point, it's just a matter of time, in a year or two years, you're going to get one of those guys to talk about Netcom. Because you saw Jack Walsh was saying that HSM is creating the world best event. They're going to say, once we actually have enough seats there, HSM and Netcom are organizing this event. So our brand is going to go up because all those people that attend those events, remember I was talking about Damon, the guy that's sitting on the left, the guy sitting on the right. These are all decision makers out there that all are gathering, gathering over there. It's going to be also easy sales for you because a lot of the even individuals, when they want to go, if they want to learn about management skills, leadership skills, come all the different types of skills they need, they're all going to learn it from the, from the best. But they will also be able to go there and network with the people that's going to be hiring them. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. If I knew about this when I was a student, I would have borrowed money to attend this class. How can you get all these people in one single room, the best people from the industry, to give you a class? So it's going to be easy sales for you. This is one of the way, that email that you sent, that we want to go after the soft skills business. This is the fastest way to get into the soft skills business. Because we are going to do revenue sharing. We are going to be saying that, hey, if we are offering a uh, strategy course, Michael Porter, the father of strategy, the Harvard professor, the guru in strategy, is the one who is teaching classes for us. So we are going to get into the soft skills market and we want to generate revenue, we can easily, over the next 12 months, we can have one to three million dollar pie, new pie over there, which is going to add more commission for you guys. Look into one of the other strategies that we have in Netcom. We are trying to build a video, video training center. We are going to launch about, talk about that learning, learning generates growth. We have right now Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, uh, uh, all those classes that are going in over there. We are going to create Photoshop, Flash, classes. But what we'll be doing now, videos that's created by Jim Collins, Michael Porter, Richard Branson, the billionaire, Mark Thompson, Farid Jakaria, the CNN anchor, the classes they are teaching, you know where those contents are going to go? It's going to go to our Learning G site and it's going to say Netcom and HSM partner with delivering those content. So what happens to the credibility of that site? And we don't have to develop those content. We can never get those people to come and create this content for us. So we will be, it's going to raise our bar and it's going to increase our business in the learning G area. Another thing is that the business that we want to build, I always thought about, hey, we want to copy their business. What we'll be doing following year, it's too late. We'll be adding one extra day <coughs> after the World Innovation Forum and Business Forum. So it's a two day event. We're going to add one extra day on the same exact place. It's going to be something like World Technology Forum. We'll invite John Chambers from Cisco. We'll invite Steve Bombers. We'll invite uh, Adobe CEO. We'll invite all the CEOs from all the 20 vendors that we have. Now imagine this, if Netcom tried to organize an event, and I want to invite them, they don't know us. There is no brand on this, because we are a technology training center. But if I send them an event saying that first two days, these are the guys that are going to be talk, speaking on third day, we are, these are the five people you guys are invited to speak on that event. They're going to jump. They want to do it. So this will create a vision for future World Technology Forum. So if we can have thousands of people coming in, going to this two days event, three days event, and get a glimpse of technology training, eventually they're going to come and take classes over here. So those event itself is going to generate revenue and at the same time is going to put us in a global stage. This is going to be a game changer for Netcom. If we do it right, we are going to have, it's just a matter of time that we are going to get an infusion like what happened to Khan Academy. This is a game changer for us because it will give us a 
opportunity to enter the soft skills market with the best player. It is a game changer for us because every client that you have that looking for IT training, they also have soft skills training need. You sell Jack Welch, you sell Jim Collins, you sell President Clinton. You don't, you don't have to sell at all, you just have to communicate this exists. Are you guys excited about this? Yes. Yes. See, do you see the value? Yes. Do, do you really see it? Oh, yeah. Think about this. 10 seats. 10 seats is to $20,000 extra revenue for you guys. 10 seats. All of, if you can, each of you can sell 10 seats. And I don't, I don't know why you'll sell 10 seats. If they have four guys are selling 6,000 seats, you should be selling 50, 100 seats. You'll be able to sell it. We're going to put all this content in our website. We're going to customize the brochure and everything. You'll be able to easily, easily do this. I want to show the website that we have. Can you get to the website? I want to thank uh, Kartik to create the website. Sorry. Okay, so I don't need the, which one is the mic? Oh. This is the mic, right? Oh. This mic? Okay, That's, uh, we don't need the mics. Okay, speakers. Okay, where is the website? Okay. So this is how a uh, website is going to look like. World Innovation Forum, you're going to see that when people click on IT training, they will go to our training. We're, we're adding also World Innovation Forum and Business Forum, so you can come over here. And uh, this is, this is uh, uh, Guy Kawasaki. Anybody know who Guy Kawasaki is? Yeah. Who is it? All top. Yeah, he's, he's, a, a, he's a venture capitalist. He's a, he was the Apple chief evangelist. He's the guy who was working with this Steve Jobs. Anybody who, is, who has a creative mind in the creative field, anybody who wants to uh, uh, looking for investment in the technology area, they all know, know this guy. So he'll be speaking on that event. So look at here, that when you're sending it, who does he work for? <laughs> OK. So let's, uh, let's go back. So this is the way, uh, I don't, how many of you know uh, Ray? Ray is the futurist. I'm not going to show his video to you. If This is a guy who is, has been revered by all the innovators out there. He predicts what's going to happen in the technology and industry. He talks about the artificial intelligence. He's, a, he's an amazing guy. So we have listed group, group of people over here. You see over here, uh, Intuit CEO. This is one of my favorite guys. I've read, read about these guys, listened to him in the past. Intuit, they're the one who created QuickBook, PitchTree, not PitchTree, QuickBook, QuickN. So these are the type of the people that will be teaching on World Innovation Forum. And you're going to charge them only $2,000 for that. And it's going to be our event. We have the exclusive right to say that we are co-promoting this event. So, so can you put my PowerPoint presentation there? Thank you. Is that a real day, June 20th? Yes. yes. So the next event that we're going to sell, we're going to start, start selling it. We're going to give you a training on that. This is going to be our event. These videos are going to be our video. And the way we are, we are, we are formulating the message, and it's, it's something that we worked hard. I've been trying to close this deal for the last two and a half years. Two and a half years. That eventually I made the CEO my mentor, and then eventually go through that route and we close the deal. This is an exclusive event, exclusive partnership. There's no other competitor can have it. We immediately go into the world stage and we are gonna be running these events together and you guys are gonna sell it. They have four salespeople, the way we sold it, that now four salespeople are selling 7,000, 6,000 seats. We have 24, add 24 with it. So now we have 28 salespeople will be selling but our goal is to sell probably 20% 20 20 of the seats. But eventually, we want to get into a situation when we add that one more extra day World Technology Forum. We want to sell four or 5,000 seats. We can make this a 10, $15 million event for us in the long run. We'll be able to get there because this will sell itself. So this is the way the site is going to look. Uh, again, we're going to have a World Innovation Forum, then World Business Forum. So Netcom provides IT training. We provide events. Then you're going to see Learning G. We have video training. So we are combining all those things together. 
these are the list of the people now world business forum is gonna so world innovation forum the next one that will be selling in june 20 21st uh, and then world innovation forum the courses we are going to sell on october 2nd and 3rd october 2nd and 3rd now let me ask you i know you know how to pitch if you're going to go and pitch this course how are you going to pitch it you have richard branson the billionaire over there you have uh, you have uh, 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 michael porter you have jim collins how would you pitch it else have the ability to, to basically take your own company and your own experience and, and, and use that, use the experience of others to basically build that experience up. Great. How would you do it, Daniel? Well, what would be your pitch? It would be the life-changing opportunity for you to change not only your life, but everybody else in the company. You have a corporate savings plan very long for you. <laughs> <laughs> How would you sell it to individuals? How would you sell it to an individual? Uh, I would pitch it as a networking opportunity. Where else are you going to be in one room, have that many people uh, that you have access to, that you can rub elbows with and ask questions mm -hmm. uh, and pick their brain? Uh, uh, you're not going to find it. I mean, even in the newscast, they were saying it's the largest event for executives in the USA. Mm -hmm. I mean, that itself uh, says a lot. And I anybody, uh, uh, Phil, how do you do name dropping to connect those people with Netcom to raise the Netcom brand? How do you do that if you had to do it? The names of those of similar industries as the person you're pitching. Mm -hmm. um, tell the best practices. Why go reinvent the wheel when these people have done it for you and follow their examples? And they're, they're giving you that information. Mm -hmm. Anthony, the fact that you know that Jack Welch is going to be teaching for an event that's co-promoted by Netcom and HSM, how do you pitch that? You know, we would uh, like to invite you to this event. Um, you know, again, Jack Welch Martin is the exclusive partner of HSM um, for the World Business Forum. Um, legendary speakers there and the CEOs like Jack Welch, Richard Branson are going to be in attendance and uh, every, every year. Uh, <coughs> It's the, it's, the, it's the largest place where the most CEOs, executives go year after year to uh, share knowledge, network, mentor, learn from each other, um, and grow your business. Anybody will pitch it differently? Anybody has a new pitch somebody didn't tell? I think the easiest solution that I would, I would say is that we are, Netcom is co-branding that event. That's your biggest thing. This is, this is an event that Netcom and these are the two largest people are yeah. We have to talk, talk about this. It's, it's not like a, it's not just we're reselling. It's we are co-promoting it. We are co-promoting that event together. We were gonna add one extra day this year, and we didn't do it because we didn't have enough time to get those speakers. And what we don't want to do is that we don't want to reduce the quality of that third day because they are bringing all these high-profile people. So we have to bring those high-profile people. I actually, this is what I did. I ca we customized this brochure because it's going to be our brochure also, right? So we customized the brochure and we put Bill Gates' picture on it and send it to the Bill Gates uh, uh, team. And there's an email came back, hey, uh, thank, you, thank you for inviting. It's just a short notice. We, uh, we need a one-year advance notice in order to book him. They didn't say that we don't. They, it's like, well, we know about World Business Forum. They know about this. So if, if we want to go and invite the uh, Cisco John Chambers, He'll jump into it. So we will, you're gonna see that how is gonna become a major game changer for you, how you can use all those names. If you're a really effective salesperson, you're gonna do name dropping. That all these people, we are co-promoting this event. They are our speakers. They're our speakers. So you're partnering, um, Netcom and HSM partnering uh, uh, is running this event. They're speaking for us. And those videos are gonna go to our, our site also. These are the list of the speakers uh, that's going to speak this year. Uh, Pauli Jakaria from uh, CNN, Jim Collins, 
uh, Robert Gates, uh, uh, f uh, the chief, he, he was the CIA chief. Yes, so different Jack Welch. So y these are all great group of people. This is uh, Arcelo, she's the CEO of Xerox. All these great people will be speaking. Again, all this, their bio and everything going to the Netcom site. Even our instructor page, what we're going to have, World Business Forum events speakers and Netcom trainers. Now it raises your bar. Because people, now what happened is that in the same page where Jack Welch is posted, you are posted there. <laughs> That's how the, you, 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 uh, you, you, I want to point out again, it's a game changer. If we market it properly, if we sell it properly, if we can deliver the result, this is what's going to create an inflection point for Netcom. We are going to go, we are going to grow so fast. As soon as it hit, we're going to grow so, because we are, we are going to be known by all the leaders. I guarantee you that if we had an opportunity to go in the stage and we say that, how many of you heard about Netcom? Almost everybody will say no. You know, and then eventually you're going to see we're going to go into the world stage. Our name is going to be, is going to be out there. So I, I want to go back and repeat that Netcom, we're in business for 14 years. We're growing every single year. We're profitable every single year. And we are positioning this company to grow. And there's, uh, the way we said we are going to grow, uh, the strategy that we are applying, we're going to know us. Uh, I'm not going to go into uh, a detail, but one of the strategies that we have that we are going to transform this organization. We were an IT training company all these years. We are still an IT training company. But what we are trying to become is we are trying to become a learning organization. Technology learning, soft skills. The training that we did, communication training, that's a soft skills training. But now, on top of that, we have a, we have two world-class product there. Those are not filling out 10 seats. Part. These are filling out thousands of seats. So one event, thousands of thousands of people we can put in the same event and all year around we are going to sell those events. And this type of events, you don't sell it on a saying that, hey, uh, uh, sign up now, pay later. You get everything up front. Nobody is going to contest to it. That's how they are doing. Four people, again, four people sold 6,000 seats. Four people from New York. 24 people, 25 people over here. We are going to do some magics, you're going to see. We're going to get it done. You pitch it, you send this brochure, you send the information. It just, if people don't take, take this class, the only reason they won't take the class is because they have a problem with their schedule. But we're not going to be able to get everybody to sign up. Some people are going to change their schedule to sign up for the class. And then we also want to uh, build a video division, which is slowly happening. We're going to see it on the uh, long run. So you see that how it's all tying together Netcom is directly doing IT training. Netcom is partnering with the HSM, is doing soft skills training, and we are doing some of our soft skills together. And Netcom is launching a new brand within the organization, uh, Learning G brand that's going to get it, go after the video training. Fact that right now we are getting all this video, you know what's going to be next step? We have five to 10 target companies. We're going to go there, that World Business Forum, their videos, they partner with us to deliver this content. Now we want your content. So we don't have to go and create all of our content. We're going to go and get the best content from outside and put, it, put the aggregated site and start charging people 19 to $20. When you are going in and selling a course, saying that, hey, if you sign up for a course, we're going to give you the access for free. Or if your organization has thousands of people, you sell them the license uh, uh, for the site. So there is going to be major. This deal is going to connect all the dots, uh, dots together. I talked about before that, that Netcom if you look at Netcom and how we can grow this company, we can grow in the IT area, we can grow, can grow in the soft skills area, we can grow by building big seminars like this, we can monetize our software in the long run, video subscription, we can create learning TV, and we can create learning related product. So right now you see us here, but what we are really trying to do is that we want to own the word learning. We are passionate about learning. We want to promote the values of the learning. We want to position us every time somebody talk about lifelong learning, learning, it connects with Netcom. So we are trying to build a brand. Once we build it, and it's, it's, it's actually happening. Once this brand has been known and learned as learning, 
we can put that brand on any product that we want. This is a future vision. This company is going to go in a different direction. This company is going to have an inflection point if we make this partnership work properly. I know, I understand the impact of this type of, this type of partnership. These are one of those partnerships. These are one of those partnerships. It's not easy to get. It's very difficult to get. As a matter of fact, I have to thank Mudit that uh, when we are negotiating uh, the terms, condition and everything, I brought the deal, almost closed it, then I almost killed the deal, trying to negotiate too much and get too much. Then Mudit came in in the middle, so we played good cup, got bad cup, and finally we got a really good deal. So we got it done together. It was a great teamwork. Remember the long-term goal that we talked about, that our long-term goal is to control 10% of the learning industry. We are a small, small player right now. We got to have to do it in an innovative way. We, this is one of the innovative way we're going to grow this company. We're going to teach people about innovation and we're going to apply the concept of the innovation to grow this company. This is going to help us over a year period over years and years to control 10% of the IT training market. Remember the vision, the definition of vision is a dream. It might happen on my lifetime or not, but that's a vision that we have and this company is going to control for the 10, 20 uh, years down the line, it's 10% of the learning industry. We're gonna get it done, we're gonna get there. And this was one of the steps that we did. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. We are going to celebrate this partnership. Uh, we are going to celebrate this uh, today. Our HSM, three people, three or five people from there is going to be is going to be on the event. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, uh, that you reflect your excitement about this partnership because uh, I had to go through a lot of optimistic picture in order to get the deal. So we are going to make sure that that uh, we don't screw that up. And uh, of course, we have a signed contract now. <laughs> And the second reason we are having the party, we want to introduce uh, our new team, uh, Ed, uh, Paul, and Dark. So we want them to, to network with all of us, get to know each other. So that's another reason we are having the party. Thank you.